Pretty closely together during the. Um, Where's Mr. Walton? He's over there. there. <laughs> Can you read that? Right? That's good. That's a good, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. 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 Um, this is a huge event, not just for uh, our community and not just for our partnering agencies, but for our region. Um, I think that's evident in just the people that are in the crowd and the people that are assembled here today. Um, we have an, an excellent panel of people that are going to speak on behalf of um, the project that we have going on and also on behalf of the PTAC program, but something like this is far deeper than that. And who I really would like to address here are our students. Um, they're a large portion of our group that's here. If there's anything that I request of you today, it's that you take notice of the people that are around you. Um, there are far, far more people than you will ever realize that work behind the scenes to make things happen. And this gathering here today isn't for this building, it's for you. So take that with you when you walk away from here and when we come back in January and we're doing our ribbon cutting ceremony, I want you to think about all this and I want you to think about who is here and who's been with you all along and think about how many people you don't even know were involved in this to make it happen for you. So with that being said, I'd like to pass the torch along and have some comments from some of our, our folks that have been instrumental in making something like this happen and have supported P-TECH from the get-go. So, I'd like to hand off the microphone now to Mayor Willie Roses, the Mayor of Dunkirk. So, on behalf of our City of Dunkirk Common Council and all of our city residents, I stand before you as Mayor, very proud to be a part of this announcement. And I just want everyone to know that this is just the beginning of opportunities that we're going to be looking to provide for our students so that they can uh, um, uh, you know, become successful. Uh, this is a unique program. Uh, when it was announced a while back that they were gonna do this thing here, uh, everybody in the city welcomed this opportunity. So to be here today, to see that this project has come to fruition, I have to commend the superintendent and everyone involved in this project because this is progress in our city of Dunkirk and I'd like to let the students know that the city of Dunkirk <coughs> has your back. We will be here to help with this program and others to come. Thank you. Next up is Jean Schrader. She is the Dean of STEM from Jamestown Community College. Hello, um, I'm so proud to be here today. I'm so happy that we were able to play a role in, in, in pulling some of the pieces together here and um, look forward to with you through the rest of your time in PTEC and, and more to come. Thank you. We have Dr. O'Rourke from uh, Erie Two, Stoppa, Cattaraugus County, Boses. He is the superintendent. Thanks very much, Bill. You know, the, the research on what happens when you take students and you give them learning experiences that are connected to a clear future for them, a job that they know that they can attain, and the learning experiences are relevant and they're uh, hands-on and minds-on. It's amazing what students do under those circumstances. We're seeing those results with our kids right here. You guys are, are continuing to just defy all expectations with the work that you're doing in an innovative program like this. 
Gary Tubosis is committed to this work. We're thrilled to have the partnership of Dunkirk City Schools as well as JCC with this project and all of our components in, in this region who send students to come and, and be educated here. Um, we're, we're, uh, we know that this is the way we need to go is in our partnership and our commitment to workforce development and industry in this region. So thank you for being here and celebrating this partnership. Thank, thank you. you. Um, and we have Dr. Tracy. He is a superintendent of the Dunkirk City School District. I, I, I wasn't going to say anything today because I was going to defer to our board president, but I, I do feel compelled to say a couple things. One is that th this is a very unique program coming from another district prior to coming here. I think it's a one of a kind. It's going to be uh, something that will really promote uh, the ability for our kids to come out of school, not only with uh, their high school degree, but also a college certificate and degree. And they're employable right then with good sustainable wages or they can go on for further education. That's an amazing program. I'd like to thank uh, Superintendent Gary Cerny, who retired. I asked him to be here because he's one of the individuals that was a pusher in this. And I, I know we have uh, several board members besides uh, Mr. D'Amico who's gonna speak to you, but I'd like them to just to raise their hands so you know where they are, because these are the people that actually make it possible on the Dunkirk side. It's a really remarkable partnership. So I'd like to recognize him, but I, also we have a, a, a prior uh, board member, Ken Kozlowski. He's here also, raise your hand. Also responsible, and of course, our business manager who is heavily involved in everything we do in Dunkirk. So thank you. We have uh, Vince Horgan, County Executive. You know, we've got so many exciting things happening up here in the North County and recently meeting with uh, senior executives of a Phoenix 900 jobs coming Fieldbrook Foods another company doing that you know what we do they always say how's the workforce and you know the words that roll off my mind my tongue are have you heard about the P-TECH program this is a unique program that is exactly what our employers are looking for and what I'm happy about as you guys, when you graduate, you don't need to go anywhere. You can stay here in this community because you've got great schools, you've got great people in a great community. Congratulations. Our Board of Education president for Dunkirk City Schools, David D'Amico. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a tough one. To but but to, to go along with what Mr. Horrigan said, I want to talk about the first day that we brought in the manufacturers and we were sitting at the administration building and two whiteboards on the wall and we asked them, what does education do for you? And they kind of gave us a, a, a list and Bill put down the list. And then we asked them, what do you need education to do for you? And they filled up the rest of that whiteboard in another whiteboard. And that's what your curriculum is based on today. People left their egos at the door, came together, for the betterment of our children. That's a wonderful thing. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin Muldowney from Catherine Young's office. Yes, uh, I just want to say, you know, I, I'm also a parent, uh, which I'm not supposed to recognize, Daniel, but I will. Uh, uh, we're very proud. Uh, Senator Young, and this is to the students, they, she brags about you to every company we go to. And I gotta be honest with you, most of the companies know and they're excited to soon to have you as Vince and David had said. So congratulations to everybody that's played a part in this. It's a big day for Duncan. We have Jackie from Tom Reed's office. Thank you. I just wanted to say on behalf of the congressman, you know, I'm a big believer of the saying, great things happen to great people. And I think this is just a testament to that. Um, the Congressman is the co-chair of the Manufacturing Caucus and so he travels all over the country and people want to hear from him about manufacturing and what's going on. And one of the first things he says is, you should see this program I've got going on in my district. It's called P-TECH. And when he explains, and he explains the students who he sat down with, when he talks about what P-TECH's doing, you're the wave of the future. You guys are setting the standard, paving the way um, for such an incredible journey and for something that people are going to look at and try to duplicate. And so I just want to say um, to the city of Dunkirk, 
Dr. O'Rourke, to you and your team at BOCES, to the Dunkirk City School District, thank you for putting the most important generation first, our kids, because they are the future of this county. They are the reason that Vince goes to work every day um, in us as well, and me and Kevin as well. And I think that it's so important to note that, you know, this is just the beginning. You guys are going to be given the tools that you need to succeed, and we're 100% behind you. So God bless you, and let's do this. And last but certainly not least, we have Justin <laughs> Hanna from the Educational Coalition uh, and representing our local manufacturers. Yep. Thanks, Bill. Uh, I want to wrap this up by just putting it back on the kids. Okay, you made, you made a big leap of faith two years ago, some of you one year ago, uh, to choose a program uh, that was different. And that was a challenge. That's a big decision. Uh, as an eighth grader, you made that decision. Uh, and I commend you for that. Um, because as you're seeing with the announcement of this project uh, and this facility, it's all coming to fruition. Uh, and on behalf of the Manufacturers Association and Dream of Doing in Western New York as well, uh, I want to strongly encourage that we're going to do everything we can to make sure that you have the right opportunities to find a job right here locally uh, in Chautauqua County. Uh, so hats off to all of you. It is about you. Uh, you made a big choice to leave your home schools, to meet new friends, uh, and colleagues uh, to be able to work together in that type of project-based learning environment. Uh, and it's only going to do you uh, a better service in finding a career moving forward. Uh, so I'm excited about it, and uh, I greatly commend you for making that choice. Thank you. I'd like to take one last minute and recognize one person, Nicole Mettler, who is here. She is our student representative from P-TECH, obviously just one student of many, but a, a, an extremely just vibrant um, example of what our students are and what they're going to continue to develop into. So she, as well as the rest of our P-TECH students, deserve a round of applause as well. So what we'll do from this point forward, we're going to take a couple pictures. Um, we will not be facilitating any tours today. I apologize for that. The reason being is we are an active site, a full active site. We have construction crews going on, and we don't want to compromise anybody's safety. You're more than welcome to take pictures from where we are standing right now, and you can stay on the outsides of the fence, but please don't enter the construction zone. If anybody has any questions, I will be here. I can field some questions for you, but for the most part, we're here to celebrate and network so thank you. Thank you. All right, let's grab a shovel. <laughs> we will also, um, as a sidebar here, uh, we have the governor's office coming in to Dunkirk High School. He himself is not coming, but representing. All right. Go ahead. Don't forget to get the back row in the picture. Just bring your shovel. There you go. There you go. There you go. Turn some dirt on three. Ready? One. Two, three! Yeah, yeah. We've been looking for a while. I've got a chance. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.